Express is a minimal and flexible Node.js web application framework that provides a robust set of features for web and mobile applications. Before we create an Express server, we need to install Node.js. You can download and install Node.js from the official website. Create a new directory for your project and open it in Visual Studio Code. Initialize a new Node.js project by running npm init y in your terminal. This will create a package.json file in your project directory. Install Express by running the npm install Express in your terminal. This will add Express as a dependency in your package.json file. Create a new file in your project directory called index.js. This is where we will write the code for our Express server. First of all, import the Express module and creates a new Express app constant. Now, define a route for your server. This defines a route for the root path of your server, and sends the string, hello world, as the response. To start the server we have to listen on a specific port. You can set any port here, by the way. This will log a message to the console when the server starts. Now it's the time to test your server. You can start the server by running the command. Node index.js Then, open your web browser and navigate to localhost 3000. You should see the message, Hello World, displayed on the page. Great! Our server is running as expected. Let's add another endpoint for a user. It will return the user data first name, last name, age, and email in JSON format. Restart the server and navigate to the user endpoint, you will see the user data in JSON format. Similarly, we can add post, put, and delete endpoints according to the API requirements. Now that you have a basic Express server up and running, let's explore some advanced features. We can add middleware using the app.use method. Middleware is a function that has access to the request object, the response object, and the next middleware function in the chain. You can use middleware to perform tasks like parsing request bodies, setting response headers, or handling errors. For example, here we log the timestamp whenever the request is sent to the server. We can also set a specific path, where we want to add the middleware. It will log the timestamp only when there is a request on the user endpoint. Also, we can add a series of middleware functions this way. It will log both the timestamp and a request method type. That's all for this video on getting started with Express.js. We built a simple server, explored routes, and saw how middleware can be used. Leave a comment below. If you're curious about diving deeper into Express, like learning more about routing structures, file organization, and how to connect to databases. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel for more content on web development. Let's keep learning together.